Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will explore four dynamic data filters that Bricks supports out of the box. Creating a clickable post title that leads directly to the post can be easily done with Bricks. First, let's go to Bricks. Then, you need to locate your heading element that contains your post title and add a colon followed by a link at the end of the post title. Save the changes and you will notice that clicking on the heading will direct you to the specific post content for reading. When your content is too long, it can disrupt the visual balance of your design and overwhelm readers. To avoid this cluttered look, limiting the output words is the best solution. To do that, Go to Bricks and find the text element you want to limit, add a colon followed by the number of the words you want to output. In this example, we will initially restrict the number of output words to 20 and preview the changes. You can adjust this number as needed, and it will control the total number of words in the output. When creating content for your website or blog, you might want to show your audience how much time has passed since a post was published in a clear and easy to understand way. Brick's dynamic data filter simplifies this process by allowing you to specify the time gap between the post's date and the current moment using the human time diff dynamic filter. This automatically calculates the elapsed time since the post was created and presents it in a user-friendly way such as one hour, five minutes, or two days. When displaying the terms assigned to a post using the dynamic data tag, post term, each term is wrapped in a link to the term archive page by default. To display the term without the link, simply add a colon followed by plain to render only the term name without the link. That is all. If you find this video helpful, feel free to show your support by liking and subscribing to our channel.